and welcome to this training video on creating your Stratasync account for your AVX 10K flight line test set from Viavi Solutions. In this video, we will be reviewing the steps and requirements for adding your AVX 10K test set to the Stratasync cloud-based management system. We will look at establishing an account, setting up users, and assigning the AVX 10K asset to a user. Accessing the Stratasync system to access reports or manage assets requires a Viavi account. There are two paths to obtain an account. If you purchased your AVX 10K from a reseller or channel partner, you will need to ask your reseller or channel partner to provide you with your Viavi account information. If you did not purchase from a reseller or channel partner, you will need to follow these steps. Visit our Stratasync account request page at www.viavisolutions.com slash Stratasync. Press the Request an Account button on the resulting web page and fill out the required information in the online form. You will receive an email with all of the information required to access your new Stratasync account. Once the account is established and accessible, the next step is to reset your password and update your user information. There are two ways to reset your password. Users can enter their own password, or they can have the system generate a strong 8-character password. To enter your own password, First click the Preferences icon in the top right corner of the web page. Choose the Security Preference and enter the current password provided in your new account email. And then enter your new password and confirm. Click the Set Password button to set the password and then Done to confirm the change. To have the system generate your password, click User Profile next to your name in the main toolbar at the top right of the screen. This takes you to your user profile screen where you can update your name, email address, tech ID, and contact info. Next click the reset password link in the actions area in the top right of the user profile screen. The resulting pop-up offers two methods to receive the password. Remember, when using the show me password option, be sure to copy the information down as the change is made immediately. Click the done button to confirm the change or cancel to exit without saving changes. More users and test sets can be added to your account so that all test results and updates can be managed. To add a new user to your account click on the People link in the navigation toolbar and select Add User from the drop-down. To prevent scrolling a long page, the setup window has four segments that can be opened to enter the various user information items. Click the gray color headers for the user information, contact information, other attributes, and preferences. Complete the necessary information for each user and click the Add button to create a user. Now that your account has been set up and you are a registered user, it is time to add your AVX 10K to the Stratasync system. Turn on your AVX 10K and open the system ribbon and click on the Stratasync application. Enter the Stratasync account number provided in your original account registration email. This can also be found next to your name on the Stratasync website. Next enter a Stratasync tech ID slash user ID. The server address should be stratasync.viavisolutions.com and the server port field should be set to 443. Once all the sync fields have been filled out and the test set is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi or Ethernet, press the start button to initiate the synchronization process. When the process is complete you'll get a sync success message and the test set will confirm the time and date. Next we will use the Stratasync website to remove the asset from the holding bin. Once your test set successfully connects with Stratasync it is time to finalize the setup process back in the Stratasync website. Newly added test set assets are held in a holding bin until they are assigned to a user. In order to move an asset from the holding bin to the organization inventory, the asset needs to be assigned to a user. This can be the existing user that you created earlier or you can create a new user. Begin by logging into the Stratasync website and select the holding bin icon from the main toolbar. Find the serial number of the asset that was added in the last step and tick the box to the left. Right-click the item, or use the action drop-down, and select the Reassign option. On the resulting screen select the organization and a user and click the Reassign button and then click Confirm. The website will confirm the asset association and users will find the asset in the asset list.